Um, but it hasn't been till recent that I realized we haven't really set a baseline or, or defined treaty and trust responsibilities. So Secretary Becerra, um, I just wanted to know what does the trust responsibility of the U.S. government to provide quality health care to sovereign tribal nations mean to you? And how does that understanding guide policy and decision making in your agency? Uh, Vice President Musso, thank you so much for the question. And, and perhaps given that we have a president and an administration that is truly trying to take us to the next level when it comes to addressing the needs in Indian country, uh, that's a perfect question to ask. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you two answers. One, I'm going to give you my personal belief, uh, how I've treated the issue of a trust relationship with Indian country as a member of Congress when I would serve for 24 years in the House, as the Attorney General for the state of California when I championed many causes, including the protection of ICWA, Indian Child Welfare Act, uh, throughout the country and now as the Secretary of Health and Human Services. Uh, what I will tell you is, personally speaking, to me, it's a relationship, a trust relationship, which has never been fully fulfilled. It's a relationship which, on paper, can be strong, but in practice, has left us wanting. And I do believe that we have an obligation to try to, as a federal government, take this to a higher level so we can prove that our past failures are, are, are in the past. Uh, I will give you a second answer, that is one as a secretary, as, a, as official representative of, of a government, uh, which has to respect the process that we're in. And right now, as you know, we're in litigation on a number of matters that involve the trust relationship with tribes. And what I will tell you there is that the courts will give us a more clear definition of what we mean by that trust relationship. But I will tell you, speaking as secretary, but personally, that I hope that all levels of government, whether it's our courts, whether it's our executive branch or our congressional branch, our legislative branch, recognize that the only way you have a trust relationship is if there is confidence. And we must build that confidence together. And the way I believe our federal government can build that, build that confidence is to show that we recognize that moving forward, we have to look at what was done in the past so we can make it good moving forward. And so respecting the legal process, but understanding my own personal uh, beliefs in this particular cause, I hope that we as a nation will fulfill our trust obligation to the very peoples that believed that they could trust our federal government in signing those declarations and those treaties. Thank you, Secretary. We look forward to that. And I know our people understand their treaty rights and they are waiting as well for us to do the work and, and make that happen. So thank you for your time.